I'm going to build a computer. I think the first thing you really need to think about when building a computer is what you're going to use it for. Personally for me, I need a workstation that has pretty serious power. Now, I'm not going to be gaming or anything, but processing and multitasking is a really big deal. So I went with the Core i7 6700K. Um, this is the current generation, even though the next generation is about to come out in a couple weeks now. Um, this is a really pro powerful processor, and though, even though I'm not planning on overclocking, it is overclockable. Um, my build is actually meant very specifically to run OS X, also known as a Hackintosh. Apple doesn't officially allow you to put their operating system on anything other than Apple hardware, but people have found out over the years that with specific hardware, you can get OS X to run very well on a home-built machine with standard parts. The motherboard is a big component of this. Um, if you don't have the right chipset, the right uh, components within your motherboard, you're not going to be able to run OS X. built a previous Hackintosh with a Gigabyte motherboard, and they seem to do pretty well. And this one is listed on several Hackintosh websites as being a decent motherboard for this job. Now, personally, I wanted a, a more compact system. You'll see that this, this case is pretty small. It's about half the size of a full ATX box. I still am able to get a full-length PCI Express card, my graphics card, but I have a nice mobile system that I can carry where I need to go, if need be. Another big component of this build is this graphics card. Now I'm going to be doing a lot of video editing and graphic design, so having a decent graphics card is imperative. I, I bought this graphics card because it is last year's model. The newest models aren't supported under Mac OS, but this is a great way to save money and have a decent graphics card to do the things that I want to do um, relating to visual design. Another component of this is that this supports up to four 4K monitors. Um, down the line, I might add another one of these to add an additional, up to additional four monitors, um, and that can improve uh, my multitasking and stuff like that. And the ability to add that second card in the future is why I got this power supply. A little overkill for the components that I have here, but it allows me future upgradeability and the power to do so. Other important components: 512 gigabytes of solid-state storage in an M.2 format, a little Bluetooth dongle for my keyboard and mouse, and 32 gigs of TDR4 RAM, which will help with my multitasking and running my video and graphics applications. So, let's get building. I started with the case, taking off the side panel and opening up the accessories and laying them out. I then worked on this panel. It's uh, meant to hold the hard drives, but I won't be using any hard drives, so that just goes to the side. Took off the other side panel and removed some other pieces just to clean up the case and ready it for everything else. I opened up the motherboard and put it on top of the cardboard that came with it and then got my processor and installed that pretty easily. You just gotta line it up to the sides. Now you'll see here I'm kind of messing about with the water cooler. I've never used a closed loop water cooler before so this was kind of new to me and I didn't quite understand the instructions. The instructions were poorly written so I just moved on to my RAM from here. RAM prep went in pretty easily although uh, DDR4 actually has a new locking mechanism, so that kind of messed with me a little bit and wasn't something that I was used to. Uh, this case has a special bracket for the power supply, so I just attached that and then slid it in, and then there's a thumb screw that just holds it onto the case. I took off the fans that came with it and put on the back plate for the motherboard and then put the motherboard into place. But first, after dry fitting it, put the um, risers in and then tightened everything down. 
Now, sometimes you can get a little messed up and not quite get everything in the right place and you might have to go back and try to fit everything again, which is what I did here. Again, me messing about with the water cooler. I might be going onto YouTube to figure it out. I believe what happened is they didn't quite uh, explain a couple of the pieces in the instructions and a lot of these uh, figure drawings that they put into these uh, installation manuals are just not the greatest all the time. So you see me putting the cooler on and quickly tightening it down with my screwdriver, although that ended up coming back out so I could put the fan in. And then just messing about with the connectors and making sure that the collar and everything is going to hold tight so that when I actually do go to put it in, it won't get messed up. Looks like we have finally gotten that in, uh, the cooler in, and now we're just putting in the graphics card. And it just pops into the 16X slot and then we go on to uh, cabling, getting all of our power in, our ATX supply, our uh, power supply for uh, the processor. Um, power supply leads to the graphics card and various other cablings uh, that need to happen. And this is just a, a rough start and then we go on to install OS X, which you can find out more of. I found, followed the guides that were available on TonyMacX86.com, um, and you'll probably need to uh, search the forums for specific motherboard and hardware support that you'll need for your installation, because this, quite frankly, is very much a pain in the ass. Hey y'all, you may have noticed that it's been about two months since I recorded that video, but it's finally out and I'm gonna try to do better and try to get weekly videos up. Now, like I said, it's been two months, so I've had some time to sit with it and let me tell you, it does have its quirks. So let me know in the description below if you wanna hear more about what those quirks are. I'll also link to the components that I used in this build so you can build this exact same machine if you want to. All those are affiliate links and buying through Amazon through those links will help me make more videos. So give me a thumbs up if you like this video, like it, dislike it if you don't. Uh, make sure to subscribe for more content where, like I said, we're gonna come out once a week with new content, a live video or a recorded video like this one. So let me know what you wanna see and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.